with the free agent signings of CJ Uzama and Tyler Conklin and the draft pick of Jeremy Ruckert, the New York Jets went from having one of the worst tight end rooms in the entire National Football League to now having a tight end room that is deep, talented, can make plays all over the football field, and can contribute in the running game. Let's go ahead and let's get after it. What's going on, Jets fans? My name is John, and welcome to Jets Today. Before I get into the video, if I could get you to please jet up that like button, and if you're new here and you enjoy the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. I want to let you know that in my last video upload, over 50% of the people that watched it are not subscribed to Jets Today, and I urge you this very moment, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Not only does it help to grow the channel, it allows me to continue creating awesome New York Jets content for you. Going into free agency, I had my eyes kind of set on a couple of tight ends, and one of them that I didn't really pay enough attention to was CJ Uzama. This is the tight end that's coming from the Cincinnati Bengals, who just represented the AFC in the Super Bowl. And CJ Uzama was a big part of their offense in Cincinnati. They used him in so many cool ways. They moved him all over the formation. He lined up in the backfield. He lined up as an inline tight end about 67% of the snaps. And he also played out wide. He played in the slot. This is a chess piece of a tight end, and he is a very, very solid blocker as well. This is not one of those scenarios where you're getting a, you know, a weapon like a Gasecki for the Miami Dolphins. No knock on him because he's very, very good receiver. But CJ Uzama is a complete package. He is going to be able to contribute in the run blocking, in the pass blocking, and also to be able to do some damage in the passing game. And when you think back to the 2021 season, we had nobody like this on our offense. And I mean that we had nobody like this on our offense. So CJ Uzama brings some different to the New York Jets, give Zach Wilson a really solid red zone threat. This is a guy with solid hands and really good at contested catches. So we're getting a big guy. We're getting a, a guy that can really create after the catch too. That's another thing that's really, really strong with CJ Uzama and his game. He can get the ball in his hands and he can actually make people miss. And so yards after the catch are a big part of this scheme that we run with Mike LaFleur. So when you land a guy like CJ Uzama, who is, you know, according to the stats from last year, only an inline tight end about 67% of the time, you might say to yourself, okay, well, what about that other 30-ish percent of the time? Who's going to do the blocking there? The clear and easy answer is going to be Tyler Conklin, the free agent tight end from the Minnesota Vikings. This was actually the tight end that I predicted that we would sign before free agency began, and I absolutely love him as a fit for this offense. You know, we talked about the versatility that CJ Uzama brings and that he can line up kind of everywhere on the football field, and Tyler Conklin is kind of the opposite of that. He is the opposite of CJ Uzama, and for that reason, it's a positive because they play with each other perfectly. These are guys that you can put on the football field at the same time and they don't even necessarily have to be in-line tight ends. They can, they can have Tyler Conklin be in-line. They can flex CJ Uzama out to wide receiver or tight end. There's a lot of versatility that comes with having a guy like Tyler Conklin, which allows the versatility of CJ Uzama to really, really shine through. And Tyler Conklin is no joke of a pass blocker. He one on one Chandler Jones, which is something that a lot of people around the National Football League, they joke about not putting a tight end on a defensive end. He held his own against Chandler Jones and Nick Bosa. He's a very solid pass protector. That's what I'm kind of getting at here. And obviously, Zach Wilson could use all of the protection that he can get. Now, one thing that's worth noting is, is that uh, Tyler Conklin's game really isn't rack ability. He's not going to really make a bunch of people miss tackles. He did have some decent yards after catch last year, but that was mostly through the design of the offense. So he's not a big time creator with the football, but he makes up for that with great hands. He has a very, very low percentage of drops in his career. So really strong hands, going to really go, uh, make an impact in the blocking for the passing game and for the running game. The Long Island native is coming home to play for the New York Jets. I still can't even believe that the New York Jets went ahead and they drafted this kid near the end of the third round. 
Again, this was probably my number two overall tight end in the entire tight end class. Getting him in that range was really good value. And if you talk and if, or excuse me, if you pay attention to people that talk about these prospects, there were a number of people that had him at the top of the class and feel like, you know, the, the lack of production was just more or less because of a lack of opportunity. And so when he had his opportunities, highly effective, highly efficient, he is never going to be a, a monster with making people miss. He's not going to ever be a demon in creating yards after the catch. But what this guy is, is very kind of similar to a Tyler Conklin. He is going to be an inline blocking tight end and is going to be a really, really strong threat in the red zone for a really long time. That is my belief when I talk about Jeremy Ruckert. He is not a one-dimensional tight end. He's going to be able to do his job in the blocking game, help the running game get going, and then all, be able to play off of that play action game. He's going to need to work a little bit more on being able to get himself open in man coverage. There's a little bit of a deficiency and a weakness for him right now. But again, you take a look at all of the measurables, the opportunities when they when they called his number, he made plays and they were big plays in a lot of cases. Uh, and I just again, I think that's a great fit for what we're trying to do. And to have him be the third tight end on this depth chart is unbelievable and unreal. You just have to look back to the 2021 roster, guys. And I know a lot of you are familiar with this, but we didn't have anybody with the talent of Jeremy Ruckert last year on our roster, let alone the two veterans that are going to bring in all of this leadership and all of this experience to our offense. I'm just so, so excited about the tight ends. So my expectations are really, really high. If you can't tell how jacked up I am in this video, I'm very, very excited. And I'm a big, big believer in this tight end room. Again, we do not have a Darren Waller. We don't have a Travis Kelsey, a Mark Andrews. We have tight ends that are going to be able to do everything. There isn't one tight end in this offense that we're going to be like, oh man, we can't put them on our running down. Oh shoot, we're about to go, you know, we're about to go third and 10. We have to take this tight end off the football field. I think they all can play in any situation, red zone, you name it. These guys are going to be able to make football plays. And that's one of the best things about this is because when you're talking about Zach Wilson entering a extremely important year two, we need the tight ends to take a big step forward and to be producers right away. And so what I'm talking about is, is that Tyler Conklin and CJ Uzama should be some of the main targets inside the red zone, and they should be on the football field one or the other or both. On most downs, these guys are going to be key contributors playing a lot of snaps. And the expectation that I have is that we get a lot of production from our tight ends, you know, combined as, as a tight end room. These guys should have an excellent football year. I don't care if any of these guys have a Pro Bowl season, but as a group, I want them to be a very, very efficient and effective room. Let me know what you guys think in the comments about the tight ends that we've added. Are there any tight ends that you're not really high on? Maybe you uh, maybe you aren't a big believer in CJ Uzama, kind of had a career year, also has dealt with some injuries. Let me know about Tyler Conklin as well and Jeremy Ruckert. If there's anything that you guys want to talk about, just let me know and I will read and respond to all of these comments. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys have an awesome day. Go Jets! And I'll see you guys next time.